So I thought it'd be easier just to show you what it's doing rather than try to explain it. So as you can see, it, it jumped into the attract mode a little late there. And it goes so far into the next section of frames where it'll actually start playing the game. Destroy the first the sequence of the game. Defeat the evil boy. So you can see we've moved into the first sequence. You know, I guess that's right. I don't remember. I've, I've seen a few of these Space Ace 91s. I don't remember if that particular part on the attract mode is right. It goes to the high score table. I'm going to try to start a game here. So I just added a service credit. I don't think it should be sitting here on this frame. Um, I think it's supposed to be sitting on a frame where it tells you to push one or two player start button or something. So that doesn't seem right. And then I'm going to start a game. And you'll see here where it jumps. It's not super far ahead. It's probably three to five seconds ahead, but it's ahead. Now, you know what? I take that back. That's not even close. That's after after he energizes. So it's pretty far ahead. I guess this would be the death sequence. I don't know that that's right either, that background. I don't have the control panel wired up, so I can't really step through anything. Um, one other thing it won't do is it won't go into service mode, which may or may not be have anything to do with this. So, uh, yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know. It is currently using the um, 1450 cable from that machine over there. That player actually still works, believe it or not. Uh, it is running Dragon's Lair 2. I only have Space Ace on this thumb drive, so I can't test uh, the sequences in Dragon's Lair 2 just to see if everything's right. The jumpers here are set the same. The cable in the cabinet had this in between the board and its cable. Uh, I imagine that's just jumpering pins to different locations or maybe for a different player. But with this in it, it gets stuck on one frame and won't do anything at all if I use that with that cable. If I use that cable by itself, it doesn't work at all. So I'm gonna need to find another 1450 cable or use this thing to reconfigure this cable as a 1450 cable. But uh, yeah, and you can see the Dexter is in 1450 mode, so it's in the right place. If you have any ideas, Matt, let me know, man.